go. Okay. If natural selection could give us completely general purpose digestive tract that could eat anything that a chemist can break down into carbon and release energy from, mm. then there would be no problem with industrial foods. Mm. Industrial food production would be fine if indeed we had this universal Erlenmeyer flask body which was equipped with all of the enzymes and all of the ancillary cellular adaptations to enable us to digest anything. But that in fact is not what natural selection has done for us or any other organism we know anything about. Natural selection always gives you environment specific adaptations. If it had the capacity to give us completely universal mm -hmm. adaptation to any food we'd care to throw at ourselves, Thank we you. could go out and eat whatever we wanted and we'd do great. Unfortunately, natural selection doesn't have that capacity. So that means that we have to think very specifically about the features of our evolution, about what natural selection has accomplished for us in the past versus the present. That has to be the starting point for how we think about every aspect of our lives. Because when one says environment, that actually means, it means every, everything that affects our capacity to survive and reproduce. Yes. It means the microbes you're exposed to, it means your activity pattern, it means seemingly innocuous things like chair.